Hey guys, it's Jeff with Tech Bargains, and I'm here with Vincenzo from Altic Lansing, and he's actually going to walk us through the brand new Altic Lansing live speaker system. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this new system that you guys introduced at CES this year? Sure. So new for us is Altec Lansing Live, the Wi-Fi music system. What you're looking at here is the Live 5000. It's the first of many products from Altec Lansing in that family. The Live 5000 is an all-in-one speaker system. You bring one home from uh, a local retailer from online and you're good to go. So there's no special bridges or adapters or any types of products that you need uh, in order to get going. It's Wi-Fi standards based, built on top of DLNA for uh, maximum interoperability. Uh, the product itself, if you look at it nice and clean, there's no crazy displays on it or knobs or rotary knobs and flashing Christmas tree lights or anything like that. Um, we've understood at Outtech Lansing that really consumers are interacting with the product through the iPad, through the iPhone, through Android devices, through their desktops, their computers, et cetera. So the way that you interact with the system is actually through a sequence of live controllers. Uh, behind here, and we'll get into a demo real quick, is a live controller for iOS. We also have live controllers for Android, which I've got some uh, captures here, as well as a desktop computer, whether it be your Mac or your PC. And one of the, the key things here, if you hold that for sure. a sec. So with the system here, really what consumers care about, we'll bring this up front, is first looking at where they want to play something. So the Stages menu shows you all the 5,000s that you have around your house, really all the 5,000 or live elements that you have around your house. In the demo here, we're quite constrained to one device, which is the 5,000 you're looking at here. You pick the device where you want to play, and then you get into the music, so what you want to play. We're off the internet at the moment, but you can imagine all the usual suspects, whether they be Pandora, Rhapsody, TuneIn. Uh, I'm sure you can go on and enumerate that list there. Um, or local content as well. So if you want to serve up your iTunes library, here I'm browsing through, I'm finding stuff from my computer, which is serving up a DLNA. Uh, server. Um, as we go through, we'll find an artist here. We'll pick something somewhat at random. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick the track. I can either choose to play it now. I could replace the cue, meaning wipe out whatever the cue was before, or I can add it to the cue and start playing it later. That's a little subtlety there. What that means is if you've got an Android device, right, or another iOS device on your computer, we're all going to be interacting with the product and adding stuff to the cue and making music social again. So it's no longer about the single person with their one device hogging up the music system. It's about interacting uh, there. So if we go ahead and play now, it's going to send it to the player. Again, if you had an Android controller or any controller, you'd see that your cue is being updated. Um, as it starts to play here, so we can turn up some volume, you'll see the cue as it resides onto the product itself. And again, uh, it's a little bit of a, not as exciting, but if I adjust the volume here, you're going to see that the volume adjusts across all the controllers to show that it's a distributed system. So this is basically almost the perfect party speaker. I mean, all you need to do is basically have any friends that have any music on their phones, and you've basically got everything set up. You don't have to worry about anybody ever complaining about your DJing skills ever again. Yeah, that's right. And this is just the start, really, right? So it's not even just about the music on your phone. It's about the cloud, right? It's about music coming from wherever you have it. Whether you have a different service that I have, it doesn't matter, right? You get an Altec controller. You add content up to the queue. I add my music. Uh, it then gets interesting once you start thinking about some fun things we can do with the queue, whether it's like voting things up or down, whether it's having a little DJ mode, your Facebook profile showing there, and you get all your friends to interact with it. This is very, very cool. When are consumers actually going to be able to get their hands on this device? So the 5000 is coming out in summer, and we'll be following that with other types of form factors, meaning either smaller variants of this, other types of adapters, preamps, amplifiers, these types of products we're really excited about. Very cool. Hey, Vincenzo, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Thank you.